Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to just take a quick look at some of the ways you can manipulate your project quite quickly. So again this is one of the things which were introduced a fair few versions of Cubase ago but prior to their introduction it meant making wholesale changes to your arrangement took quite a while whereas these tools although they, they seem to be tucked away where some people don't know about them but they are very useful. So what we're going to do is just look at the way you can manipulate your uh, project information and that's why I've color coded things to make it easy. Uh, first thing is it's very easy if you want to hear let's say this first section going straight into this uh, third section missing that out. One way you can do it very quickly is by using the left and right locators the wrong way round. So I've put them here so this is actually the right locator uh, and this is the left locator and if I turn cycle on and press play I'll just go from there So we can skip a section really quickly. So that that may be something you want to do uh, quite quickly. So it can make it uh, much quicker just to see what would happen if you had a particular transition. But there are plenty of tools which allow you to do a similar kind of thing and very quickly. So if we click on that and I hit P, that puts the locators the correct way round. Um, what we're looking at is under edit, we've got range and we've got a variety of different things. The first one is uh, delete time. So if I do delete time you'll see the red section disappears and also this base part has been cut appropriately so those bits have gone and we've just gone from the first part straight to the third part the other bit has disappeared. Now while you may think well I could just pick this up and so on if you've got automation or you've got things such as uh, tempo changes etc this takes care of all that as well so it means there's much less likely to be some errors happening uh, when you do that. A, a similar thing to this is cut time which cuts that but actually puts it in the uh, paste buffer so it's on your clipboard so then if we click back up here and then I do paste we can see that our red part has now uh, rejoined us which allows us to swap those around quite easily if I put it to bar 9 paste that in so we swap those around nice and quickly. On top of that we also have uh, paste time and paste time origin so what this allows you to do after we've copied them so we've got at the top of this list we've got global copy now these other two allow us to paste sections in which again makes for quick and easy uh, changes of your uh, piece so again we're between the locators so we can just do range and then global copy and that will copy everything and then if I click up here again range paste time and that moves everything across so if we had any automation that I can show you quite easily so if let's say we had a part here which we wanted to move later on then we can just do that and when we do paste time you can see that they get moved across so this isn't just a case of just copying and pasting things in this makes extra time in your arrangement to allow you to do that uh, and the other one is paste time at origin which will allow you to paste those things in and extend them so it's it's shuffling things along so if we just want to move them again it makes it much quicker than doing it any other way so those are a few really useful tools for quickly changing your arrangement uh, last one insert silence so let's say between bar five and bar nine we wanted some silence in there to put in something new and interesting we can do that so between those tools you can again quickly change your project particularly when you've got lots and lots of tracks happening very quickly and easily.